Sure. Last question, G. Fight week. Yeah. Jerron Ennis. Yeah. Castile Cleveland. Yeah. What happens? This might be, this might be, because of the circumstances, the best performance, a boost career, because he is, let's keep it real, he is going up in the ladder. Castillo Clayton, I've been checking him out. Never really fought a guy with a losing record. He got one guy on his record that, that got more uh, losses than wins. One guy out of a 19-0 record with one, with one draw. Um, he's fought at 154 a few times, more than a few. So that lets me know he, he's used to, you know, packing that weight on and being a little stronger. Um, he's a grown ass man, 34 years old. This fight right here could change his life. If you imagine, 34 years old, you, the biggest fight of your life is a, is a 24 year old kid. And imagine if he beat Boots. So he gonna try to fight. He gonna come in there, he gonna come in there wanting to win. The thing is, Boots is on such a roll, a consistent roll, it's gonna be hard to do that. Boots has been training every day hard. Like his, his you know what I'm saying? His level, his level of training is, is through the roof. Um I think it's gonna be a good fight, but I think for real, for real Clayton. Something saying seven. Seven, he gonna go. And it is gonna be from a body shot. It's gonna be from a body shot. Clayton keep his hands up high. He not gonna let you hit him in his head too much. I think Boots gonna put a nice combination up top. Slide to that liver real crazy. Sit, sit down real crazy. Stomp on that liver. And, and, and I think Clayton, I don't think Clayton gonna quit, but I think the, the, the punching accuracy and the power is gonna get to him from Boots. You know what I mean? I think, he, I think Boots just gonna slow him down and, and stop him. You know what I mean, frustrate him first for the first two rounds. Frustrate him. Let him know he can't box with him. Third round, start putting pressure on him. Fourth round, start putting a beating on him. Fifth round, start the torture. You know what I mean? Sixth round, you start annihilating him. And, and seventh round, you go ahead and sit him on his way. Put your suit on. Go ahead and watch your business. You know what I mean? I think I think he's going to put up a good fight, though. I think he's going to give us a couple of oohs and ahs before they boots get him out of there. But I think he's definitely going to get out of there early. You know what I mean? Because I've been watching Boots do that for three three camps now. I've been watching him beat. Listen, man, I don't, I don't like the sugar coat. Beating these motherfuckers up, man. Beating them up. Breaking their spirits. I'm talking about these niggas is getting in cars and, and going home and crying, man. I'm talking about for real, man. I'm watching it, man. I'm why I'm why. Listen, there's no hype. There's no cap for all the young boys. There's no cap. There's no hype. There's no wolf tickets. No bullshit. These niggas been getting in the car and been crying. I'm telling you. And be coming back. Listen, how I know he doing them dirty, they been coming back with the motherfucker. You know how after you cry, you get the dry skin, you get the line. They coming back with that. They got the dry, the tear line down their face and shit. They don't want to come in here, man. I'm being real. I'm, I, call it what you want. I'm being real. I'm just a witness. I'm, I'm just a messenger. I've been watching it. He been beating the shit out of people, man. For so, real. So you've seen A-level prospects or... Um, man, you know, everybody in their mom... If you got two arms, two legs, and you call yourself somebody and you walk in here, I watch you get humble. I watch you. I don't give a fuck who you say you is and what you might have did. It's one guy. Listen, I swear, I swear to God, it's one guy that's not in this gym that don't even train here, that don't train in Philly or none of that, that I seen do eight rounds with boots. Everybody else getting cut at five and six. They getting cut off. That shit, that shit is like, no, I can't take it no more. And one of my favorite guys that I thought was going to really give him some work, three rounds. Get out of here. That shit was, this, it should be fucking me up, bro. I ain't gonna lie. There's it, 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 no cap. There's no bullshit. So I can't do nothing but want to gamble on boots. You know what I'm saying? I, he's giving me, he's giving me everything I want to see as a coach. Everything that I want to see in a fighter, he got it. And he putting it in. And the, and the thing is that I love, he getting meaner. He getting meaner. And that's what I love. If a motherfucker know me, they know I like mean. I like that mean shit. Yeah. What you're seeing now, is this something that's going to be talked about 10, 20 years from now? Like dudes that was in the gym with Ray Leonard, dudes that was telling yeah. stories about Floyd, yeah. dudes that was telling stories about Roy. The, the, reason, the, reason, the reason it's going to be, you're going to hear the tall tale shit years from now, okay. is because it, it's on a consistent basis. Like, 
You be like, oh, that's uh, you be like, oh, that's such and such coming in a day. You be, you be like, oh, that's such and such coming in a day, right? Come in, you be like, oh, alright, this is gonna be a good job. Cut him short. Get him out three. It got to, I'm gonna keep it real, bro. I'm gonna keep it J. It got so real for these niggas, I stopped coming in here watching. I don't even watch no more. Cause I know what's gonna happen. I, when I come to the when I come to the gym, Boots be finishing the workout. How you feel, Boots? Oh, I feel like a million bucks. And then I talk to the coaches, I talk to the fighters. Yo, how you look today? Three rounds, four rounds. I don't even I don't even come look at this shit no more. Cause it ain't no point. I know what he's doing to the dudes, man. He mentally fucking them up and then physically fucking them up. You know what I mean? If you got you a dog that you love, a dinosaur that you love, keep him the fuck away from him. Keep him away from you. Boots right now is the kid that your mom ain't want you playing with growing up. <laughs> Real shit. <laughs> Boots, Boots the neighbor on the block always starting shit. He that boy. Yeah. <laughs> He that boy right now, you know what I'm saying? And I'm being real, man. And, and and he don't even look at it like that. Boots be on some humble shit. Boots just do it. He just do his job. He do what his coaches ask him to do. And that's it. That's it. And that's all a fighter's supposed to do. So when you got a guy like that versus a Castillo Clayton, who's a good fighter, who's a very good fighter, but he don't have that oomph. He don't have that, that next level. He don't have the next level. He, he, he may have something, but he don't have that next level. Boots going to take him... Motherfucker down to eight feet, nine feet of water, man, and hold him down there. You gonna see? I say seven, round seven. Is this is this fight going to be the statement that the world needs to see? No, this ain't the one. Boots not gonna get credit until he beat Luis Ortiz or somebody like that. He gotta beat Boots gonna have to beat Boots gonna have to beat a heavyweight because the all the hype, all the hype, they not gonna let Boots live. And guess what? He don't give a fuck. And as long as he don't give a fuck, he gonna keep beating these dudes up. I see you. Don't worry about don't worry about what the critics have to say. Don't worry about what the media have to say. Don't worry about fans. Don't worry about people in boxing. Don't worry about it. Just keep kicking ass. As long as they keep putting ass in front of you, keep whooping it. That's all. Just keep whooping it. They're not going. He could listen. He could look like gold. Not get touched. Get this guy out early. They, they still gonna say, "Oh, who was he though?" They gonna say that every time. That's what they do. So it don't matter. Just keep doing what you're doing, champ. That's all. I think he going. Like I said, first two rounds, it's gonna be kind of technical. Cause Castillo Clayton, he can keep his hands up tight and he moved pretty good. Not he's not the best mover. He don't have the best footwork, but he, he moved pretty good. He know what he's doing. So they're gonna be going back and forth, playing chess a little bit. Third round gonna come. Gonna start piercing him, putting little holes in his body, slowing him down. Fourth round come. Beating gonna start to set in. Fifth round come. Start tor tearing his ass up. The torture session gonna start in the fifth. Where he start dropping them combinations, slamming to the body. Yo, yo, he yelling. All type of shit. You gonna see. You gonna see. Okay, Jay. All right, y'all. Thanks. I, I appreciate you. My man. YSL Sports Media is the truth. You don't have to go nowhere and get all of your boxing news. We got it right here. No gossip, just boxing. YSL is always on topic. And then like this, subscribe so you don't miss a thing when I drop it. YSL Sports Media. YSL.